hi guys this is Kifi Diriji good to see you once again on my channel welcome back to relationship talk and today I'll be giving you a very interesting topic so I'll be talking about reasons why you should not enter a relationship so there are many reasons why we ladies always get in a relationship okay and I'm gonna give you some point why you should never get in a relationship no matter the age that you are or the time of your life that it is all right and the first one is this very important do not get into a relationship because the guy promises you or because the guy is very rich and he has promised to take care of you so the guy is very rich and has promised to take care of you so you say oh i'm going to die here because he promised to take care of me that is a man-made promise he could change the next minute the next day the next week the next month so it is actually a wrong thing so date a guy because he's very rich and he has promised to take care of you and the second important one is this you're going to date a man because all your friends are in a serious relationship and most of them are married so you need to get in a serious relationship because you also want to get married or at least they can say you are in a very serious relationship and so that means you're going to date any man that comes your way sad so anything is going to, anybody's going to come your way and you're going to date him because all your friends are married and because all your friends are not married are in serious relationships you were not born together with your friends so you don't have to get married when they're getting married and they are not a yet stick for you to date anybody or to get entangled with anybody and the word entanglement reminds me of somebody all right and the very pathetic one is this the third one you want to date a guy because you are lonely all right, so I'm lonely, you know, I'm, I'm 30 now, I'm lonely, I don't have anything to do, so I want a man that I can date. A man is going to come, you're going to date him, any man. It's, it's actually very pathetic to date a man because you are lonely. Why are you even lonely? Find something to do with your life, don't be lonely. To the extent you're going to date just anybody because you are lonely. Wow, another sympathetic one is this. This is the fourth one. You love children. And you want to start making children you want children of your own so you want to date a man so that at least he can maybe fall in love with you and begin to make babies with you this is why many of the ladies will have babies without proper marriage and stuff because you love children because you want children and then you just fall into one relationship and begin to make children and a very funny one because you want financial security number five and you need to live in a better apartment you need to maybe own a car or something and the only way you can do that that you know is to get in a relationship with a guy that will give you that hmm. how does that sound to you <laughs> and the number six is that's very funny you want the title of missus so you want to get entangled with mr a because he looks like an eligible bachelor and he could just end up marrying you or you can pretend enough for him to marry you so that he can be tagged mrs kelvin mrs david or mrs somebody right so you pretend just to get into a relationship even when you don't care about the person genuinely just to get married or something and get some kind of respect associated with the name mrs so you just need respect you need um to be seen as a missing somebody and then you get into a relationship and then the very sad one that happens to everybody no matter where you're from is somebody in your family or your life some authoritative figure some person that you get respect in your family your uncle your aunt will come in and say are you in this house why are you not married yet all your mates are married and because of the pressure you want to get married so you begin to do for any guy that wants to marry you so anybody that says i want to marry you you jump you dive into it so that the auntie or the authority that authoritative figure authority figure in your life do not pressure you anymore about marriage at least you can see you're getting married soon and a very interesting one is that oh i'm 32 or i'm 35 i want to sit down i just want to sit down right it's time for me to settle down so any man that comes i think he's good let me just settle down and before you say jack and robinson you have settled down with Mr. Down Settler, right? 
<laughs> so interesting. All right, so we need to settle down, but not just with anybody, and because we just want to settle down. When the time and need to settle down comes, the right person will be there, and you will settle down. You don't just settle down because you wake up one morning and just said, I want to settle down. When the right person comes, you will see the need to settle down. Okay, unfortunately, maybe this one is that you feel, oh, I'm getting old. Um, my biological clock is ticking. Very soon I'll get to menopause. I need to settle down and have babies. So if I can find a man who really wants to settle down, I will settle down and have babies. I know for some persons, this whole rule will be like, what, what else are you going to settle down for? She's teaching you rubbish. Well, that is left for you and the person you're listening to, where they're coming from. I understand you need to have babies. You may be getting as old as you feel. Uh, biological clock is ticking. But thank God that even today, people get their babies when they want, at good age, like your age. I don't know about your age, but whatever age you are in, you can still have a baby. So it's not enough reason to settle down with that person that you know does not treat you right. But because you want to settle down, because of biological clock, you begin to see the need to accept him. And then, number 10 is this. Because you are a single mother, and you just need a father figure for your child, or a father for your children, or a support for your children and yourself, very interesting one, but don't just wake up and begin to find a father figure. Make sure that the person that you begin to date or that cares about you actually do care about these children so, so that you don't go and bring in this father figure that, be, that turns out to become a destiny destroyer that, that might molest your gay child or your children. Alright, so make sure that the person, if your reason is being a single mother, really cares about you and cares about your children. That way, it would be a very good deal and win-win for both of you because he cares about you and the children. And he can then, in the genuine sense, be a father figure to them. So the eleventh one is this. You have a high libido and the only safe place to have sex the way you think you want is by getting married. Because it's biologically and morally right that you should have sex when you're married. So because you think you can control yourself, you should get married. <laughs> Marriage is not all about sex. <laughs> Very interesting, right? Alright, so that's not enough reason for you to want to settle down. I think I should just advise you a quick one. Go and discipline yourself. It's not enough reason for you to want to settle down with a sex expert. You know, at some point in your life, as a single, you begin to make money. You're doing business. And you begin to feel, oh, I have all this money. I need somebody to share the money with. I need to spend this money with somebody. No. That's not what life is about. People, the great men like Boaz, you don't need to spend money on them or give them money. Boaz, people, the right men like Boaz in the Bible are made men. They know what they want. They're going to find you and then you fit into their life, all right? But your money shouldn't be the reason why you think you have all the money. This man, if I offer him money, he's going to marry me or he's going to be a good man. No, 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 no. It's actually going to turn to a disaster when he gets the money and begin to be his real self. All right? So your money is not enough reason for you to find a life partner to spend or share your money with you. Your money is actually your money. When your partner comes that care about you genuinely, then you can be supportive. All right? After all, you're supposed to be a help mate. It's support, right? But you're not supposed to be the pillar. You're a woman. You're not supposed to be buying the man. No. Are you supposed to find the man? No. The man finds you. He will find the wife. Alright? So I'm sure this 12 powerful point is going to be resounding in your head right now. You can go through the video once again and see the number one down to the 12 very powerful point especially when you're at least 30 to 35 or even 40 those points are very very important because I'm sure that this most of this point will fit for you because this is at the point where you should have made money you have some need for maybe you happen to be a single parent and stuff so take time and watch this video again for now it's still one love from me and I wish you all the best in life and of course I hope that your personal image is growing by the day with all this sharing of my thoughts and of course my giftings God bless you and shalom